Greetings everybody and welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. So a company by the name of Sandmark sent me this ND filter to use and I'll be making a more in-depth video on ND filters in the future and I'll put a link or a card in this video when that one's done. But I thought it'd be fun to do a feature comparison between this Sandmark ND filter and this Tiffin ND filter that I've been using for a little while just to see if the Sandmark would be worth it. So first off, let's talk about size. These are both 77 millimeter thread sizes, but the Tiffin comes in at three and a half inches from edge to edge, and it's just shy of a half inch thick, while the Sandmark comes in three inches edge to edge, and it's just a little bit under a quarter inch thick. So I'm gonna give a point to Sandmark for their compactness. Even the bag is more compact. And because of its smaller size, I'm actually able to use the Sandmark filter with my lens hood and I cannot use a lens hood with the Tiffin, so I'm gonna give another point to the sand mark. Because of the thickness of the Tiffin though, they're able to make their stop markings a little bit more easy to see than the sand mark. I really have to get in there and squint to see the tiny markings on the sand mark filter, and it doesn't help that it's a gray text on a gray background. I think if they made the text black or even white against gray, it might help solve this issue. So I'm gonna give a point here to Tiffin for the larger markings. In all honesty though, neither are really great at knowing what stop markings are on just at a glance, but where the sand mark makes up for this is they have actual number indicators on the side rather than just a series of identical dots. So when you are able to see the markings on the sand mark, you'll know exactly which stop you're on. So I'm gonna give another point to the sand mark for this one. I think for most people it won't be a big problem since many will be just eyeballing it, but I try and put all the information in my videos, so I'm one of the few who likes to keep that record. But let me know in the comments field if you guys eyeball it or if you go by numbers. On the Sandmark filter, there are hard stops at minimum and maximum, and I really like this because that allows me to keep looking through my camera's viewfinder, and I know when I've reached the minimum or maximum stops. With the Tiffin, it just goes all the way around, I have to lower my camera and double check on which stop I'm on. So I'm gonna give another point to the sand mark for this one. So they both have really nice knurled edges around the filtering, but with as thick as the Tiffin filter is, the knurling sticks out quite a lot more than the sand mark. So it easily gets bumped and shifted when my camera is down by my side. So I'm constantly having to check the Tiffin filter to make sure the stop hasn't changed on accident. With the sand mark, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna give another point to them but you can actually put the lens hood on this one, like I said, and that'll kind of doubly protect against spinning. So finally, color neutrality. I haven't done a whole lot of extensive testing with both of these as they're both fairly new to me, but I did notice some color casts with the Tiffin that I did not notice with the Sandmark. And it's more noticeable to me when shooting a person rather than these color cards here, but the Tiffin has a slightly more brownish hue and so far when using the Sandmark ND filter, I'm not seeing any noticeable color shifts. So I'm gonna give another point to Sandmark for this one. I will say though that some people's skin tone does work well with the Tiffin filter. So knowing this little bit of information can give me kind of an artistic option if I so choose. But overall, you want your ND filters to be as color neutral as possible. So I wanna thank Sandmark for sending me out this filter. And like I said, they did send this to me for free and obviously they want me to talk it up so you might go out and purchase one for yourself. So I tried to make this as fair and honest review slash comparison video as I could. And I think overall Sandmark is a clear winner and better filter in this scenario. So if you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.